What's up, Martians? So fall is going to be here in less than a week. And I'm sure you already know that for your various reasons. I'm not hype about it because of pumpkin spice shit. Like that's that marketing mess. I don't I don't really care about that. I do. I do rock with pumpkin pie, though. So I can't front on that. And I do like the scent, like the candles, the Yankee candles and stuff. I, I'm not going to front on that part. But you're not going to catch me all fall and winter running around everywhere with a Starbucks pumpkin latte. Like, that's, yeah, I'm good on that. I'm going to still have my same macchiato or whatever it is I drink. I don't even drink a lot of coffee. I'm more of a tea and a cocoa person. Anyway, um, I was just thinking about yesterday I hung out with some of my peeps. And even though... We didn't do anything so spectacular. It was good just hanging out. It was good just politicking um, the different personalities that were there. Uh, people I hadn't seen in a while. Some people that are not necessarily my peeps, but people that I'm aware of. You know, you can consider them associates, I guess. Um, we ate and we drank and I didn't even drink any alcohol because contrary to what I think some of you think, I don't be out partying all the time and I don't require alcohol to imbibe like the vibe of people is really all I need to really enjoy myself you know like I always say vibe with who vibes with you and I just really was thinking about how that felt like the end of summer like just it ended up raining so it wasn't it ended up not being a sunny day the entire day and it's actually sunny today but I just had a sense of things ending you know, things being over. There's something about summer that allows us to have these rose colored glasses about the people in our life, the things that we're doing, you know, the things that we want for ourselves. And to me, um, fall and winter are, are their foundation is, is stapled in a type of reality. I don't know how to really describe it. I hope that you guys can feel what I'm putting down. Um, and so I'm excited for fall because there are a lot of realistic things that need to be put into place. There are a lot of uh, boundaries for myself personally that I need to put into place. There are a lot of things that I need to embrace. There are a lot of things that I need to be done with. And I was just thinking to myself, there's an excitement about that. I think sometimes being a fire sign being associated mythologically with phoenixes, everything that ends is a beginning for us. Like we we might have our moment where we're like, oh, this is devastating on some level. Like one of the reasons why I think people think that we're so strong and resilient um, is not because we always are. It's just that we kind of live in a reality of, I can't let myself get down but so low because I have to get things done, you know? Maybe it's healthy, maybe it's unhealthy, we don't know. But to people on the outside looking in, it looks like we don't ever flinch. <laughs> and we kind of don't because we really, to be honest with you, strength and resilience, that is a trauma response. And that means that we've had enough experiences that were based in some type of trauma that we are, we're like warriors. As soon as we see a conflict, we know how to handle it because we've handled some element of that in the past. And so yesterday it wasn't sad I want to say it was kind of like bittersweet just realizing that summer's about to be over you know tank tops and you know shorts and flip-flops although where I am I could wear that for a little bit longer it's time to kind of get my headspace into something more serious in every aspect of my life and business and personal you know where as it relates to my goals you know if it's about to be fall that means in a moment it's going to be winter and then in a moment after that it's going to be a new year and for myself and for you martians i really pray for you to have the things that you really want for yourself i feel like 2020 just knocked the wind out of a lot of people and it was really really hard for so many people to pick themselves back up and in some aspects of my life i was no different but now it's time for something different, right? It's time for you to succeed at the levels that go beyond your imagination. And so I really pray that for me, but I also pray that for you. Take care, Martians.